So can I take a look at another feature of Flexbox? Last time we learned how to create um, elements in our children in a flexible container. And so now we're going to learn a little bit more about wrapping. So you're going to download the Flexbox file. And in the internal style sheet, we're going to add some classes. And the classes are already applied to the code. So this is what it looks like now. And you can see we've got three different parent containers and each parent has eight children or eight items. Okay, so we've got a class called Flex Container and we've got another class called Flex Item. So we've got three different areas that we've labeled as Flex Container. And then within each container, we have items. Okay, and what we are missing is the class for not wrapping, wrapping, and reverse wrapping. So that is what you're going to be adding. Once you add that, okay, then you'll notice the first one is going to say no wrap. Okay, so looking at this, no wrap means it, it's basically the default. Wrap is going to take your content and it will wrap it. Now, it's going to look a little different than this because we have an extra uh, flex property applied. But basically what wrapping does, it's, it would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's basically what it does. Okay. And then wrap reverse is very different. Um, basically, it would go seven, eight, four, five, six, one, two, three, kind of like this, okay, without all the spacing perfect. <laughs> okay, so this normally would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So reverse seven, eight goes on top. Four, five, six, one, two, three is at the bottom. That's reverse. Okay. Now, why I said this is displayed a little different is because we added some inline styles to change how this looks. So we changed it up a little bit. So with the inline styles, uh, we applied it to the middle one. So instead of going by row, we changed it to column reverse. And then we, we have a maximum height that we implemented as well. So what you're seeing here in the middle is columns instead of rows. So as I mentioned, at, in rows, what you see in the first column would have been your first row. What you see in the second column would have been your second row. Third column would have been your third row. Now we're displaying in columns. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then if you go down here uh, to our last one, the reason it's spaced so nicely is because we added a property called justify content. And justify content is all about the spacing. Okay, so when we say space evenly, which is what we specified, you'll notice that everything is perfectly spaced. And that is what space evenly does. So your end result is going to look like this. So you will start by specifying your classes up here. And I would highly recommend that you view the page as you make changes, because you will learn it better if you do it that way. So after we put that code in, view it offline in the browser. Okay, then come down, put in the inline style, view it offline in the browser. Put in the other inline style and view it again. Okay, and the reason I recommend doing that is because that is how you learn. That is how you see changes as they happen. Okay, and what you're seeing here is going to be your end result.